we start recognizing that the architectural object doesn't serve as a kind of tool any longer. project we've done a few years ago. It's, it's kind of very famous. The world hoped that it's the solution for the Wohnungsfrage. It's time to bring our industrialized, uh, uh, con totally contaminated body by industry back into the uh, network of oceanography to create a kind of uh, intended collision. Then I'm also struck by the kind of atmosphere of uh, camaraderie and good cheer and the kind of physical proximity of people and also kind of engagement in the work that is really physical, let's say. On the other hand, also communication is completely analog. There is no digital technology. There are no beamers, microphones. Images and drawings are, are physical objects. Policy whispering means that maybe you're not only uh, reacting to briefs in competitions, because in a way it's already too late. The question has been asked, it takes an enormous effort to even change this uh, tanker 1% of its course, so put yourself before the question. You sound very utopic and you sound very little bit naive. In what point you, 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 you face the corruption? I would like to speculate today on the capacity of architecture to carry out emancipation. Emancipation thus means the empowerment of the oppressed against the oppressor. Regress, to go back, or do we have to progress? We have to oppose the, the two, and of course there's no answer. How do we imagine a, bon a modernity that lies neither in the future or in the past? I think there's an answer that was given in Vienna during the so-called time of the joyful apocalypse. Desire to flip the discourse of Manhattanism and the city kind of on its head by inviting us to think of a geographic sensibility that intervenes um, in way to make visible the inequality between the promises of technological system and the distribution of geographic externalities. Positions on emancipation, architecture between aesthetics and politics. But it really, for, I read it as a kind of going from politics, using all the terms you have to come to pure aesthetics. So what does that mean? To come from the political and end up in a pure aesthetic direction. Well, the fact that you take it's it to heart, is this the question? No. Is it it's the question? Ah, it's not the question, okay. And really, I have a problem to how to evaluate the last half hour in terms of what we discussed.